Kevin Dick isn't the only one speaking out. Washoe County parents are reacting to the district's decision as well. As Paul Nelson found out today, there are a lot of mixed reactions from both teachers and parents about the decision. In-person classes are a go in Washoe County, starting in less than three weeks. It'll be the first time since March that students will be back in school. He's ready. He's going to be a junior. Uh, right now, we're worried about the ACT because he missed some instruction in the springtime, and I want him getting that instruction that he needs to get ready for college. It's all about his future. Christy Jensen's son goes to Reed High School, and she teaches in Lyon County. So she's paying close attention to both school districts. She's confident that the classrooms will be safe. So I think as long as we follow the protocol, do the social distance six feet apart and do the mask, we should be mandated on everyone, I think we'll be just fine. Other teachers do have their concerns, especially hearing that the health district opposes returning to the classroom. What he was saying at the beginning of the meeting yesterday, I think really showed that we're not in a place where it's safe for us to open. Meyer says she wants to get back to school, but that the number of students all but guarantees the spread of COVID-19, even with middle and high school students alternating days in the classroom. I think no matter what we do, it's going to be high exposure. You know, I have 200 students in a typical um, school year. School district officials say the decision for students to return came down to a lot of different issues, not just public health. Although our, our mission is academics, um, we are extremely concerned about the social emotional aspect. And I know that the board, part of that decision process was, was relegated to that. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. The school district is asking for patience and flexibility during this process, and students do have the option to stick with distance learning if they want. The school district does have FAQs for parents to learn more. For a link to that, just head to our website or to news app.